Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to give a basic overview of the sticky note functionality in Windows 11. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search icon and search for sticky notes. Best result should come back with a sticky note app. Go ahead and open that up. And now it might have to update if it's the first time you're opening it up in a while. So just give it a moment. If you want to back up your notes across multiple devices, you can select sign in. Otherwise, you do not have to. You can just close out of here and sticky notes will still open up. At this point, if you want to type anything you want, you can just type it into the sticky notes over here. And clicking the little plus icon will create a new sticky note. So you can see them all over the desktop here and you can resize them by moving in the corners. You can also make them bold, italic, underlined. You can also do a line through, so strike through. And if you want to do bullet points or add images, you can. And you can see that the Sticky Note app itself will give a list of all the recently created Sticky Notes on your computer. So definitely a neat little feature there, guys. And if you want to remove any Sticky Notes, you can just select the three-dotted icon next to the menu and just change the color accordingly. And you can see a notes list here, too. So you can just highlight all the header information and it just will show the Sticky Note. So pretty straightforward process here, guys change the color theme of the sticky notes as well. So if you want to change it to dark, you can do that as well. You can also use your current Windows mode. So if you switch to dark mode theme, you could just change it automatically. Otherwise, you can set it however you want. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.